everyone, it's Rachel, and today I thought I'd try and film another remake tag. This is my third one. If you want to check out the other two, I'll leave them linked down below. So basically, the remake tag is um, a video that you kind of do to see your improvements over the years for polymer clay. So what I've done is I've gone through my old collection and taken a few different creations and then I've recently remade them how I would now to see the kind of improvements that I've made and um, how I've learned over time. So the first thing I have here is this little Yoda creation and Yoda is a character from Star Wars. I probably made this in about 2013 I think. So I started clay in 2012 at the beginning so I... I'm pretty sure this was made in 2013. As you can see, it doesn't actually have an eye pin, so it's not a charm, it's just like a little figurine. And then here we have the Yoda charm that I have recently made. So this is what my new updated version looks like. I tried to make it as similar as possible, but also make it in my style that I have now. So this is what they look like side by side. As you can see, this um, the new one's actually bigger, but I have been able to put more detail into it I guess. If we just have a closer look you can see that the details are much more uh, precise like the coat you can see like it's more clean cut on the new one whereas the old one is kind of like a bit mashed up I guess the clay might have been a little bit soft. Same sort of thing uh, with the arms I actually made more detail so you can see um, he's got like his full arm here but whereas on the older charm I just did a little dot of green clay. I did keep the same colour of green clay. This colour is called Wasabi by Primo if anyone was wondering. And I guess the other main change would be the face. So on this one I seem to have stuck with like um, very simple eyes but on this one I decided to do a full kawaii face with um, eyes, a mouth and some little blush cheeks. And yeah, um, this one if you can see here on the back has like a lot more like um, bits of like dirt and uh, lint stuck in the clay and the glaze and the glaze has also dulled over time whereas this new one I glazed with UV resin so it will stay really shiny and it's also a lot cleaner as well. So that's the first thing I have to show you. This next one's much more simple but I wanted to see how much I have improved on a simple charm because I know I would be able to improve on a more complex charm but I wanted to see um, on something like with less details. So this older version, oh by the way this is a little like ice cream scoop creation so it's kind of like a marble clay, it has some whipped cream and like a little cherry or strawberry I guess, I'm not quite sure what I was going for. I probably made this in my first year of clay so 2012. And that's just what that one looks like. And then, of course, I remade it recently. So this is what the new one looks like. I decided to stick with um, as most of like the details as I could. So I didn't add anything extra. I just stuck with the plain old ice cream design with the whipped cream and then, of course, the little strawberry on top. You can, of course, see that the details on the newer one are much more complex than this one. And I believe um, I textured the ice cream uh, a lot more sort of realistic compared to this one. It just looks like it's been stabbed with one of my clay tools. And then of course the icing or the cream, frosting, whatever you want to call it. I used a piping tip for this one, but this one was just kind of shaped of clay. And then of course the um, major detail on the little strawberry on top. This one, the shape is much cleaner and nicer and it. I also uh, put some little indents in where sort of the seeds would go but this one just kind of looks like a little bob, uh, blob of clay and it kind of looks like it's sort of blended into the frosting like it's not sitting nicely on top and maybe the clay was too soft. For my next creation I have this little koala piece and that's what this one looks like. I think this was made in maybe 2013 or 14. I'm not quite sure. All of these older charms are in my like old charm updates as well. So if you are interested, you can go back and see the exact date. I was going to do that before this video, but I actually forgot. So um, here's sort of a little close up of the koala. I don't think it's too bad. It doesn't have an eye pin, so it's not a charm. And I'm pretty sure that I use triple thick to glaze this charm so it does actually have little cracks in it but for like um, dust and that sort of thing it doesn't seem to have um, anything really noticeable. 
And then here's what the new little koala looks like. So um, I think the major thing would just be the smaller details. So like the arms I made, I don't know, just in a different style really compared to these ones which are more of a blob. The little tail on the back on the new one does actually have some like fluffy texture but you can't really see with the glare um, whereas this one's just a blob. You can see with the ears here they're not as precise as um, as on the newer ones. And yeah of course the new one also has a charm and I gla uh, like an eye pin to make it into a charm and I glazed it with UV resin which won't crack whereas um, this one has little cracks on the front. And I think one of the other things I've noticed is that this one's like a lot more pastel coloured and more kawaii compared to this one. But other than that, there's not any really major difference, um, but you can see the small improvements. Next up, I have this like little orange cupcake, and I believe I would have made this in 2012, so my first year of polymer clay. As you can see, I've tried to make the cupcake base myself, but it's not exactly even, but I guess it was a good try. And then I'm not quite sure what happened with the actual cake part, why I did it in yellow, whether or not I was that's the theme I was going for or I just didn't have any sort of like cake colored clay so I thought yellow would be the closest match. And then the icing I must have made with TLS and um, some chalk pastels but it has sort of like run down further than I probably would have liked and then it looks like I just stuck an orange cane randomly in there. And then making a cupcake similar in my style now, I have this one. So of course this one I decided to add a kawaii face because that's how I usually make my cupcakes now. I stuck with the same coloured base as I did. I wouldn't usually make a brown coloured base for this type of cupcake. I probably would have done like an orange one to match the top, but I did want to stick with the same colour theme as this one. Um, so yeah, so the actual cake part is textured and shaded and looks more like a cupcake. And then of course it's got the little kawaii face. And then the icing on top for this one, it's much more precise and it looks much neater. I did also do some like detailing in it. So I've got two different colours of the liquid clay and I've sort of like made a little pattern and then the little orange slices on top I've stuck them in the same way as I did the old one but I sort of like I added a full slice and um, just a little half slice to I don't know add an extra little detail and then with the glazing too on the new one oh I didn't glaze this one at all by the looks of it because I don't think I actually had glaze at this point but with the new one I decided to only glaze like the top icing part and then the cupcake base so then the cake part stays um, very realistic looking. Next up we have this kawaii bee charm and I would say that I made this in 2013. So here's just a quick little overview. It's got a kawaii face on the front. I gave it six little blobs for the legs. It doesn't have a stinger on the back. Wings are facing down and they're a blue colour but as you can see very well there it does have quite a big fingerprint in it. And then the other thing is that the stripes are very kind of like wonky and crooked. And then for the new one, I do actually have a tutorial on the new one so I'll leave that link down below. But this is what the new bee looks like. So I think the face is much cuter compared to this one and of course the stripes are much better too. I actually did go all the way around with these stripes and they're less wonky. The only thing was that I didn't include feet on the new one but I do think that's okay to keep the kawaii look. And then the other major detail would be the stinger on the back. So for this one you can watch my tutorial but I did actually make this using a toothpick and then I painted it black so it's nice and secure. It's not clay and you know, it won't easily break off. In terms of the old one, I don't actually think it's too bad for like dust and that sort of thing. I think it's more just my design that's changed and of course, um, I guess my skill with fingerprints and making the design less um, sort of wonky. Next up we have this little chubby dinosaur which I probably made in about the end of 2012 or maybe the start of 2013 and this is actually inspired by a digital art piece I saw on DeviantArt. So it's kind of like this little melon, um, this little melon dinosaur. So as you can see I've shaded like the melon detail onto the body and then of course it's got its little eyes on the front. 
some little feet and then some little spikes which I actually really like the shape of these as well and then here is my new little dinosaur that I remade of it so this one is ac my new one's actually a lot bigger I'm not quite sure why I made this one so small I think I was just kind of playing around with how small I could actually get my charms and as you can see I've added more detail in the face so I kind of kept with keeping the like the little shiny parts in the eyes but I added um, two in each eye to try and make it look cuter and then of course I also added a little mouth using polymer clay Again, I added the shading for the sort of melon effect so you can see like the little strips of dark green and then I kept with the four spikes and then I do also think that the feet are much nicer and they're more evenly positioned because as you can see on this one, it's kind of like really small and in the center and then this one's out far and yeah, they're just kind of all over the place. So I guess my precision, my precision sorry, has improved a lot more. And then the last improvement I have to show you today is this one. So this is a cinema roll ice cream stack. And I would have made this in about 2013. And so this is what the old one looks like. As you can see, it's not the greatest. You can actually see at the top the ear broke off. So I tried to glue it back on. One of the things on this piece is that I also painted on the face and I do actually remember I decided to paint and not use polymer clay because I wasn't really confident enough. I thought I would stuff up trying to make like a really small face out of clay so I decided to paint it instead. And then of course it is quite dirty as well and you can see fingerprints. And then here in comparison we have the new cinema roll ice cream stack in a cone. <laughs> I don't know what to call it but anyway. So the new one actually got bigger as you can see but I do like sort of the shape of it much more. And I also think that the colours are a lot cleaner. You can kind of see that um, the colours on this one are kind of very like dirty but on the new one they're much more like clean and crisp and as you can see I've made the face of polymer clay on the new one because obviously with experience I am much more confident trying to make small details with clay so I really like that I improved there and I did keep the same like facial expressions I just did them all with clay instead of uh, the paint on this one. And then that's everything for my third remake tag. I hope you've been able to kind of see the differences in my charms and I think it's really interesting to see how people change their style over time as well. If you are a beginner at polymer clay, I hope this video has kind of inspired you as well to see that you will make improvements over time. It will just take more practice and the more you work with it, the better you will get. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for lots more videos and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.